Request granted. Welcome Brahmaj Warriors and I am back with another video. Today we are going to analyze a light compact aircraft. Many nations have shown interest in procuring this fighter jet. According to Indian Air Force, the LCA Tejas will be the backbone of the Indian Air Force fighter fleet. Let's find out why and how. Before that, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe and hit that bell icon. Okay, let's do this. While researching, I have seen a lot of videos about HAL Tejas on YouTube. But not enough. We need to dig deeper. For that, first we need to understand the current operational and cancelled variants of HAL Tejas. Let's take a look at the production variants. Tejas Mark 1 Single seat operational variant for the Indian Air Force. Next one is the Tejas Trainer. This one is a two-seater operational conversion trainer for the Indian Air Force. Tejas Trainer also acts as a lift, that means lead in fighter trainer, and it is also useful as a ground attack aircraft. And finally, the Tejas Mark 1A, an enhanced Tejas Mark 1 equipped with advanced radar, jammers and pods. Okay, now let's have a look at the cancelled variants of Tejas. Tejas Mark 1 Navy Tejas Mark 2 Navy Tejas Trainer Indian Navy These three variants have been cancelled and it will be replaced with a brand new HAL TED BF. I know most people don't know what is a TED BF is. The HAL TED BF is a twin engine duck based fighter, is a carrier based canard delta wing twin engine compact aircraft currently in development for the Indian Navy. We will do a separate video for HAL TED BF. For now, let's focus on Tejas Mark 1A. The Tejas Mark 1A is the smallest lightweight multi-role single-engine tactical fighter aircraft in the world. Tejas entered service in July 2016. The light compact aircraft Tejas is indigenously designed by the Aircraft Development Agency ADA, under the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, and manufactured by Hindustan Aeronautical Limited that is HAL. According to recent updates, Indian Air Force ordered 40 Tejas aircrafts, including 20 Tejas Mark I and 20 Tejas Mark II. The first 20 fighters will be built according to IOC standards and the remaining will be built to the FOC configuration. I know, now you will be thinking what is IOC and FOC standard. IOC means Initial Operational Clearance and F4C means Final Operational Clearance. The LCA Tejas is not only indigenous but it is also better than its foreign equivalents on several parameters and also comparatively cost efficient. Many countries have shown interest in Tejas. The Indian Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has confirmed that India will achieve the target of 23.34 billion in the field of defense manufacturing in the coming few years. Tejas has a delta platform design with shoulder mounted delta wings. It has a fin but no horizontal tail. The aircraft have a length of 43 feet and 4 inches and a height of 14 feet and 5 inches. Lightweight materials including aluminum, lithium and titanium alloys and carbon composite materials have been used in the construction. The wingspan of HAL Tejas Mark 1 is 26 feet and 11 inches and a wing area of 413 square foot. Ok, let's talk about the weight of this aircraft. The empty weight of this aircraft is 6560 kilograms. The HAL Tejas Mark 1 have an internal fuel carrying capacity of 2458 kilograms and the maximum takeoff weight is 13500 kilograms. Thank you. 
One of the five challenges outlined at the start of the LCA program was the development of an indigenous jet engine for Tejas. The gas turbine research establishment, that is GTRE, spearheaded a mission to design and develop an indigenous powerhouse, that is the Kaveri engine, as early as 1986. However, due to significant obstacles in the development of the Kaveri jet engine, the General Electric F04 GE F2J3 afterburning turbofan engines was purchased as a temporary alternative. Since 2004, Tejas models have been powered by an upgraded General Electric F404 GE IN20 engines with FADEC, that means a full authority digital engine control. The engine can produce 85 kN of thrust with afterburners. The LCA Tejas is fitted with a night vision compatible glass cockpit and a 00 ejection seat from Martin Becker, UK. The cockpit consists of a dual color liquid crystal multifunction display created by Bharat Electronics and a heads-up display developed by the government-owned Central Scientific Instruments Organization, that is CSIO. It is also included with the HMDS, that is helmet-mounted display and sight. Tejas has a quadruplex fly-by-wire digital automatic flight control, and its navigation suit includes a Sigma 95N ring laser gyroscope inertial navigation system with an integrated global positioning system. In addition to all that, the cockpit also includes an environmental control system developed by Spectrum Infotech of Bangalore. Electronic Research and Development Establishment and HAL have jointly developed the aircraft's multi-mode radar. The radar has multiple target search and track, while scan and a ground mapping modes of operation. The radar is mounted in a Kevlar radome. According to recent updates, the SAB is offering a sensor package for Mark 1A variant of HAL Tejas. The package includes airborne electronically scanned array, fighter radar technology, and an electronic warfare suit. The Tejas fighter aircraft has eight external hardpoints to carry weapon and parts, with three under each wing and one in the central fuselage and one installed under the air intake on the port side. A 23mm twin-barreled GSH-23 gun with a burst firing rate of 50 rounds a second is installed under the starboard air intake. When it comes to missiles, the Tejas Mark I can carry air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-surface missiles, anti-radiation missiles, and anti-ship missiles. Under the air-to-air -air missile category, the Tejas Mark I can carry R-73, Derby missile, Python 5, AS RAM, Astra Mark I, R-77. Tejas can also be fitted with air-to-surface missiles like KH-59ME, KH-59L, KH-59T, AASM Hammer, and BrahMos NG air-launched cruise missile. Apart from that, it can also carry anti-radiation missiles like Rudram-1 and anti-ship missiles like KH-35 and KH-59MK. Okay, let's talk about bombs. Is Tejas Mark I capable of carrying bombs? The answer is, hell yes. The Tejas Mark I-A is fully capable of carrying precision-gated bombs like Spice Bomb, HSLD bomb variants like HSLD 100, 250, 450, and 500, DRDO glide bombs, and TARA tactical advanced range augmentation. Okay, let's move on to laser gated bombs. When it comes to laser gated bombs, the fighter jet can carry KAB 1500L, gated bomb unit 16, Payway 2, Sudarshan and Griffin LGB and of course the RBK 500 cluster bombs. Apart from all that, the Tejas is completely compatible for unguided bombs like ODAB 500PM, ZAB 250, 
Zap 350, Bet AB 500SHP Aircraft Bombs, Fab 500T, Fab 250. India is working on an advanced version of Tejas Mark II. As per official reports, it will be included with a CATS program that allows Tejas to remotely connect and operate multiple attack drones. I'm really interested to see how that's gonna perform in a combat zone. Okay, that's all I have for today. If you like this video, then please like and subscribe. And it's time for me to take off. Bye everyone.